So I started getting high when I was living in Camden. I was living over there for 11 years. Um, like my baby dad took my daughter away from me while she was like five, six months. And it just put me at a state of mind of like misery. And I, I was taking perks at the time. And perks went up, I couldn't afford that shit. And somebody told me about dope. for like two weeks because I was afraid to touch it. So after two weeks, it was a day where I couldn't buy me no perks at all. I ran out of, you know, I, 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 ran, I ran out of, you know, resources to get it. And Nobody could confront me no more. I owed out too much money. And first was, you know, $25 at the time, a pill. And I needed at least three of them what, just to 30s? get me. I, well, I first started off with perk fives. Perk fives. And then it, it went from perk fives to perk tens, from perk tens to 15. Next thing you know, I'm popping 30. Once you start popping 30, it's a wrap. You know what I mean? Like, and you ain't gonna be able to afford that that pill anymore. Like, 30s now, I heard is $50, $60. He, I heard somebody charges like 75 for an inbox. Yeah. Like, yo, in some places, they $100. Mm -hmm. I imagine you know? the county, yeah. Just for one pill. You know what I mean? Crazy. And I needed at least three of them. Right. So, if I was still popping perks now, that means I would need like three hundred dollars just to get high, yo. So, but the bag of dope it stayed in my drawer for about two weeks until one day I didn't have, I couldn't make no money. I ran out of resources. I ran out of lies and manipulation. I owed out too much money. Nobody wanted to front me anymore, and I was sick. I was feeling real bad, and. You know, I was watching a movie as I was feeling sick. I think it was um, the, God, the Godfather. And I don't know, like, just watching that movie, it reminded me of the, the bag that I had in, in my drawer because I, was, I wasn't feeling well. And, and you know, I, I got up, went to the drawer, got the bag. I closed my eyes, I put the bag to my nose and just dumped it. I didn't, you know, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I looked in the mirror. Dumped open and dumped it in the nose? Yeah. I didn't, I didn't even know how to do it. I mean, I didn't even know what you were supposed to do. I just know, like... Where did the dope come from in your drawer? I bought it. Oh, uh, they left it in your drawer for two weeks? Yeah. Yeah, because I was a, I was afraid what to take it. Though? When I bought it, I didn't have no money to get any um, perks, so, so bought I bought it. The, I bought the dope to do it, but as soon as I bought it, I ran into some money, and you know, then I was back up. You know what I mean for for the next two weeks. So I just held on to the dope. I, I even forgot I had it, so I was watching the, the movie. Yeah. It was a scene in that movie that, that reminded me that I had the dope in, in, in the drawer. And I got it. I didn't even know how to do it. I just know you can snort it because I, I knew it was powder substance, so I know you can snort it. And, and I didn't even know it was, it was called heroin. So what was your next experience? When you found, how did you finally start using it? When you started using it? 
What did you ever start using too? Well, after I, I dumped that bag, like, it gave me a better high than Perk 30. Like, it gave me, it, 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 it put me in a state of mind where I wanted to be, where I was really looking for with the 30. And didn't know I was I didn't realize I wasn't getting it with the perk 30s, but it still was satisfaction to me because it was all I knew at the time. So being introduced to a different high on a better level, you know what I mean? I was able to realize that this is what I was missing. This is what I needed to, to, to take my mind off of the things I was going through and what was going on, you know? Yeah. And that was Murder, She Wrote. Mm. And, how, and what was the next, how did you finally start using it when you started using it? Did you ever use it though? No, that was my first time. That was your first, did you ain't start, you ain't use it again after that? Yeah, of course I did. So how would you use it? You were snorting it, snorting Yeah, I was, just, I was snorting it. And then, um, like I realized like my nose would get like clogged up or whatever. And, you know, I was, you know, I started, I ended up snorting powder in the midst of me snorting dope because I needed something to like pick me back up or whatever because the dope I realized it had me like too down and, and you know, I wasn't as energetic as I used to be anymore. So, you know, one of my friends told me about um, powder, you know, cocaine, and then I started snorting that. And that started putting holes in my nose. And then the dope was clogging up my nose. So I'm like, well, fuck it. I'm going to just smoke this shit. And then when I smoked it, it, it even gave me an even better eye for me snorting it. Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. And like the, the cocaine, like. It was one day how I started smoking crack because I always been the type that the cop from one block and one block only. I, I didn't, I wasn't the type that if this block don't have it, I'll go to the next, you know, option. No, if, if my block didn't have it, I wasn't copping from nowhere else. So the powder, I, the block I was getting the powder from, they didn't have it, it was nothing in like days. It was like a drought. I don't, I don't know what the fuck was going on, but it was days that they didn't have it. So I'm like, well, look, man, because I need something. What the fuck can I do? What do y'all have that's, you know, that's just like cocaine that, you know what I mean, that I can buy and, 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 it, and it gets me the same way. And they, that's when he said, ready. And then Camden, crack cocaine is called ready. Now, if I would have known that that was crack, if they would have said crack cocaine, I probably would have said no. Because I, I heard of crack cocaine. You know what I mean? Like, but when you hear ready, you don't, and, and I didn't know what. This was in Philadelphia? No, this was in Camden. Okay. You know, like, that's what they call it over there. So when you have readies, you don't you don't think that is is crack cocaine. You know what I mean? Like I I didn't I didn't even know how 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 to smoke crack. So it's not like you know when somebody told me that you need a pipe to use it. I didn't even know that. You know, I was dealing with crack still. Like, it's all I heard was stories about it. I, I didn't hear, like, what it looks like and what the tools look like, how to do it and all that. Like, I, I only heard stories about it and, and, and that it would fuck up your life. So if they would have said crack cocaine, you know, the next best thing, I probably would have said, hell no, I'll wait for the powder. So, that's when I, I bought it. And some girl was there copping at the same time as I was copping, and she heard me talking. So she walked with me and said, I can help you, you know, fix that up for you. And I said, all right. So she said, you're going to need a pipe. We went to the store and bought a pipe. 
She said nothing about Troy, which is the metal stuff we put in it. She said nothing about that. So I put the pipe, I mean, I put the, the, the ready in the pipe and just lit it, like without the Troy. And it still smoked, but of course not as much. So I, was, I wasn't even smoking it right. And she looked at me and she started cracking. I'm like, what's so funny? I said, girl, you need to put the metal, the Troy in it to, to, to really light it. Okay. I'm like, well, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So she put the Troy in, in the pipe for me. And I put the crack on top, lit it again, and bam, that's when it hit me. I had got a total, completely different high than I had got before I put Detroit in there. And yeah, I'm looking like, when I first hit it without Detroit, I'm like, what, this is it? Like, it's the high? It, it wasn't really nothing. But when she fixed it up for me, it was it, it was a high that took me, you know, completely somewhere else. You know, somewhere I never been before, didn't even know it, it existed. the fuck up, like clipped empty, and seeing the whole body just vibrating as it's dropping to the ground. I ain't never seen no crazy shit like that. You know what I mean? Like girls come up missing, bodies chopped up and shit. Like, yo, know, it's crazy out here. I don't like, like honestly, if it wasn't for the drugs blind sign at me, man, I would be scared to death to even walk through the streets. I really would. That's a fact.